Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about the number one article rewriter online today in 2021. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, have it you smash that like button as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Okay now, here we are. Now, if you've been a member of my site, you'll know I love Quillbot. Q-U-I-L-L-B-O-T. Now Quillbot is an amazing article rewriter. It's not an article spinner. It doesn't, you can't see the spin tax behind what they do. But it does paraphrase what's been rewritten. And it paraphrases it in such a way that it gives you back quality content. Allow me to give you an example here. All right, now I'm in the free version and I'm not signed in. Now, if I was to sign in, I would have to sign in as a premium account because I own a premium account. Now let me give you an example of the free to premium account. With the pre free account, you're only allowed to do up to 400 characters on if you haven't signed in. If you just go into the if you just go straight up to Corebot and you want to do an article, this will allow you to do up to 400 characters at a time. I have to make sure I stipulate that. That's at a time. Now. If you decide to sign in on a free account, that will jump from 400 characters up to 700 characters. However, if you're like me and you decide to go for the yearly pro account or the premium account, then that will allow up to 10,000 characters at a time. Not per month, not per week, not per year, at a time. So you can go through a 50,000 character ebook or something like that or a 60,000 character ebook or how many characters might have it be and you just have to do it in sections of 10,000 characters at a time. Now with Quillbot there's very little if any editing at all. Now sometimes there is a little bit of editing but nowhere to the same degree as what you would get if it was spin rewriter. Now with that being said, let's go for a bit of a walkthrough of what the site's about, and then we'll do a bit of a demonstration. Now, I'm going to sign in to my premium account just so you can get a proper look at what it looks like. I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, this has jumped up to 10,000 characters. Now, let's have a look at what you can do here. Obviously, you have your paraphraser. Now, under the paraphraser section, you've got fluency, you've got creative, Creative Plus, Formal, Shorten, Expand. Now you can change the amount of synonyms they have by choosing which one you want. If you just be aware that the higher the synonyms, the less accurate it is. So I like it between here and here as my two favorite areas. Primarily because if it's taken all the way up here, even though it completely changes it, it can sometimes be a little bit less readable. So I prefer it to be either there or there. And sometimes, depending on the complexity of the sentences, I'll even put it there. But there and there are my two favorite spots. Also too, you can have a look at fluency. Now let's have a quick look at what they've got here. They've already got some text written here. And let's have a quick look in the standard section at this particular point here. Now, if you wish to, you can take it all the way back to here. Hit rephrase. Quillbot will rewrite the text you've written. Begin by typing or pasting something into the box and then pressing the enter key. Quillbot will rewrite your text. Start by writing or pasting something here and then press the paraphrase button. Now, another thing that also has over here is a free section, a word free section. Say, for example, you want to phrase the word paraphrase button you can put that in there, or if you want to say, for example, freeze the Coolbot word, you can put it in there, and it will then you can then put it across to this section here. 
and that will hold on for the duration of that article the words that you want to hold so then it will not change those words it will keep those words as is now another thing you can also do if you want to you can have a look at the various settings you can choose what to do here you can also choose the type of language you want to do if it's American English British English or Australian English in my case it's Australian English and you can go through and you can use the yellow highlighter which is what I love show tips show legends and so forth you can go through and have a look at that over here you can do a compare mode and you can compare the different things all the way through like for example fluency creative and so forth you can go through and have a look at the various different things it's going to say back there over here you can give the give you feedback and you can also have a look at some analytics right here so let's go here with the analytics it says there's average 10 uh, 10 average words in the sentence 9 to 10.5 Average syllables, readability between 73 to 73 percent. Two sentences, word count 18, 52 percent has been changed, which is quite good. And zero long words unchanged. Okay, so you can also copy the sentences here, you can redo or undo, you can also lock sentences into place, and you can report any issues if you wish to. Fluency, for example, you want to make this looking a little bit more fluent. Well, let's grab this here and move it over a bit. There we are. Now, as you can see, this section in blue will be perfectly matching and then press the paraphrase and then press the paraphrase button. It hasn't changed it. But if you wish to, you can change words like click, which then changes the entire sentence. Start by writing or paste in something, start by writing, be, uh, or pasting, you can put there, copy and pasting, start by writing or copy and pasting something here, and then click the paraphrase button. If you have literally, in just a moment of a, a few seconds, completely changed the sentence. That's how easy it is to change it here on Quillbot. It's another reason why I love this, because I'm all into getting my job done, I'm into productivity, and I'm in to getting things done quickly. Okay, now let's go over here to creative. Now, as you can see, it's just made it a little bit more creative. Now let's go over here and highlight the entire thing and rephrase. Now you might want to go change the word press to push or click or whatever, and it's now changed it. Creative Plus. Now let's now copy over the top of all that, rephrase it. Now you can also go to Formal and you can also highlight over the top of it and do the entire thing. Kubot will synthesize your text. Let's move that up to here and rechange that up a bit more. So as you can see, it's becoming quite formal. You can also shorten it if you wish to, and you can go like that, or you can even expand on it, which you can do here. We're going to paraphrase. As you can see, it has completely expanded it. And if you wish to, you can rewrite that again, and it will rewrite it again for you. It's completely changed it. So that's one of the things you can do with it. You also have a grammar checker. And what I would suggest you do is to go back one step. Grab that text. By left, -click, by left clicking and dragging it and copying it. And then go back to the grammar checker. Paste that in here. Wait for a moment and see whether or not it likes to, if there's any grammar that needs to be corrected. Okay. You're doing great. So you can also paraphrase text here as well. And there you have it. Now let's copy that. I haven't read that yet. So just give me one second. Let's go back to Grammar Checker. Paste that in here. Let's 
got two errors. Let's fix that up. There you go. It's now fixed. As quickly as that. How good is that? You can also summarize. Let's go to summarize. And we'll paste that text back in here. We'll now summarize this and come see what it comes up with. You can either do it through paragraph, key sentences. All right, so we can make it really short if we wish to. Resummarize. We'll see what it can do for you. Do you have, I think that's supposed to be a question, send it to iReport.com. Okay, so there you go. So that can be a complete paraphrase or a summary of what you've got here. You can also do that as key sentences and it will put it in dot point for you. So we also have citations. So for example, you have a URL of a website where you've got some information and you want to be able to put that in. You can do that or you can do what I just did. And I put in the name of an ebook, which I can do here. And then it pasted it right there. It found it online and was able to put the context of it right there. And this way it can then go into whatever section you want to put it into your book. So as you're not breaking any rules. So let's go back to the paraphraser and let's get into doing the demo. All right, now in this part, I'm just going to grab a little bit of text from in here, 60 minute profits. Now I'm going to grab I'm not going to worry about grabbing the introduction. I'll grab chapter one. So let's grab chapter one. And we'll take that all the way down. And we'll grab that. And we'll grab, yeah, that'll that'll do as it as the amount of text will do. That's fine. We'll just copy that. And we'll paste that straight into here. Just go control V. And that, as you can see down the bottom here, 2,399 characters out of 10,000. I'm having it there. I'm going to make it standard edition to start off with. And then we can hit paraphrase. And in just a moment, you'll see this counter down here that says paraphrased. We'll do a bit of a countdown. It'll go through and you can see what it's doing. And hey presto, it's finished. Now you can go through and you can compare. As I said before, the stuff in blue has not been changed. Let's have a quick look at the analytics here. Now 49% has changed. The longest changed words is 36. It's 47% readability to 33%. And you can go through and have a bit of a look through. Now my suggestion would be try going to the expand section and see if you can change it up a lot more by doing that. So you can go through, have a look at all these, change some of these up so as they fit the sentence structure. It doesn't take long, just find a sentence or a couple of words that go well together and then change that up. And once you've done that, you are completely ready to go. Now you can also check out the fluency and of course it will change it on whatever section you have. Now let's highlight over the entire article and we'll rephrase that entire article. Influency. Where fluency you'll find has a lot more of the blue there because the blue is technically the section that's over here and you'll find that you probably need to rewrite it just a bit more under fluency because it's not changing it quite as much. Now you can go to Creative Plus. I'm going to go straight to Creative Plus in this particular case and we'll have a look at what it does here. Now Creative Plus will have a lot more changes and you'll have a lot less issues when it comes to how many changes it's made. 65% has been changed. That's really good. That's essentially a new article. 65% is really good and will most likely easily pass Copyscape. Not really, not really fun with that. Let's go over to Creative instead. And then you can go through and have a read through and compare the two. Yeah, 
the perfect glass my favorite one is standard and I would use standard almost all the time so you can do that hit phrase, rephrase instant commission networks have you heard of them these are the marketplaces that will pay you instantly via PayPal or for each item you sell so you can go through and have a look and change a few things up if you wish to as you can see we we'll go back to the statistics over here and 50% has been changed which is not bad and you can just go through and have a look change up when it needs to be changed and you'll find this is really good readability is second to none and I love this another thing you can do is you can also grab extensions you can use extension from Microsoft Office Word and my son uses this for his schoolwork and he loves it you can also put it as a Chrome extension if you wish to or you can put it in an, on Google Docs and if you don't want to pay for Microsoft Office Word you can still use, use it on Google Docs now let's go and have a look at how much it is if you want to purchase this now if you want to purchase this you can have a look over here and you've got $14 a month build monthly you can do semi-annually which is $59 every six months or if you can afford it I would personally go $79.95 per year and you can use that for 12 solid months and this that brings it down to $6.69 per month US dollars of course and this one is actually to me the best value and it does say best value $79 a year now I will leave a link in the description down below and I would highly recommend check it out and see what you can do with it because I find I find I love Quillbot I use it all the time and to be perfectly honest I'd be lost without it what used to take me ages was spin rewriter because I'd have to do so many edits with it takes me a quarter of the time using Quillbot and I'm not joking about that that's why I love Quillbot so much because there's hardly any editing that has to be done and it can be done so quickly and you don't have to rephrase things it makes it so much faster all right guys with that in mind if you like this video please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we upload more videos hey and while you're at it why not share and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the video okay guys thanks for watching and bye for now